We really should just stay out of each other's way. Proctor Ingram. Oh, this frame is driving me crazy. I've got like three itches I can't even scratch. Fusion core reinitialized. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems nominal. Weapons hot. Mission the destruction of any and all Chinese communists. Probability of Chinese victory impossible. Brotherhood, salute. Ad victorium. Proceeding to target coordinates. Freedom is the sovereign Goodbye. right of every American. Democracy is non-negotiable. System diagnostic commencing. Mobility. Complete. Optic beam.
German tank will fall. China will fall. Diagnostic commencing. Mobility complete. Object 
Lead us to victory, Paladin. I've got your back, Paladin. Scanning defenses. Elder Maxon. Keep those sentences away from Prime Soldier! What was that? Having results. Negative. is proceeding as planned, Paladin. Well done. Our next target is the reactor. If anything tries to slow us down, I'm ordering you to destroy it. Man or machine. Once we reach our target, you'll need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Attach it to the reactor, and it can be detonated remotely from a safe distance. It will be more than enough to annihilate the Institute in its entirety. Ingram, you're to remain here and teleport us out when the job is done. Get that thing working. Elder Maxon. Let's get this done, Paladin. Ingram? Don't worry. We'll get this machinery under control. Over here! 
someone present. This is what I'd fear. No controls, no supervision. Technology run amok. God, the freaks die! Help me! through the Advanced Systems Division. Only, you can't reach it. The security override can only come from the Director's Terminal. You'll need to access his quarters.
didn't expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. What's happened to you? Are you sick? Oh, don't pretend to care now. You had your chance to help me, then cast me aside instead. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? It's for the greater good. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. Spare me. You've spent time up there. You know as well as I that it's doomed. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean, I... I, I hoped there was something more I could do. I wanted to save you. This isn't some fairy tale, Father. There's no saving me. I'm dying. And you're going to destroy everything I've ever loved. You're going to have to live with that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to be alone for my last few moments. Go. Do what you must. But I hope someday you realize what will be lost here. Are you in any pain? Yes, of course. But that will end soon enough, won't it? All thanks to you. Sean. I'm sorry that it's come to this. It's too late to be sorry. There we go. there was some other way. You've made that impossible. The Commonwealth can have only one fate now. This done, Paladin. Who's there? You must be terminated. Go <laughs> on.
In and out. We make this fast and precise. <laughs> Let's get this done, Paladin. Good work, Paladin. I think it's time to leave this place to its fate. Proctor Ingram, do you copy? Our mission is complete. I need you to transport us out of here immediately. Our work here is done. Proctor Ingram, it's time to teleport us out. Sorry, Elder, I would, but... well... This child showed up. He claims to be the Paladin's son. Authorization. Authorization. One. Why? Please, Dad. Three. Don't leave me One. here. I want to go with you. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation points. Thank you. Why did you call me Dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. I'm not your father. Whoever told you that was lying. But you are. Nobody told me, I just know it. Why would you say you're not? Don't you love me anymore? I loved my son. My real son. You're not him. It's not fair to ask me that. What do you mean I'm not your son? You're just saying that so you can leave me here and not feel bad about it. I hate you! All right, Ingram. Fire it up. Hang on. You're telling me you leave that kid here to die? He's your son. He's a sin, Ingram. He's not really my son. Are you kidding me? The Institute made synths that look like children? I don't even know what to say. Except that they deserve what's coming to them. You're clear to go, then. Ready? Absolutely. Let's get out of here. You got it, Paladin. I'm sending you to the detonation site. I'll set the relay to send the last of us to the Pridwin and make sure everyone is out. When that reactor goes up, this place will be nothing but a smoking crater full of rubble. Should be quite a sight. Looks like your work here is done, Paladin. Sir. Time to go, Paladin. Please, Dad, don't leave me here. I want to go with you. You're not Sean! You're not Sean! You're a robot. Made to think you're real. You're just gonna leave me here? I can't believe it! I hate you! Dr. Ingram has assured me that we'll be outside the blast radius. Press that button, and you not only defeat our enemy, you restore order and decency to the Commonwealth. It's time, Paladin.
can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Excuse me, Elder Maxon. You've done an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. I did it for the people of the Commonwealth. You truly have become one of us, brother. The Institute has been wiped clean from the face of our world. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth and begin one anew. And let's get to it. I'm pleased that you're anxious to continue your service for the Brotherhood. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Return to the Pridwin, and we'll decide what needs to be done. We may have liberated the Commonwealth, but our job is far from over. Heads up. Where to? Institute's gone. Do you, do you know what this means? That the Commonwealth is finally safe. Exactly. It means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear. Thanks to you, we don't have to be afraid anymore. They don't have to be afraid, thanks to us. I never could have done this by myself. True. But the Institute was around for a long time before you got here. Not anymore. Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. May the Institute's fall be a lesson to anyone who risked tampering with our humanity. Heck of a job, Paladin. At Victoria. Excuse me. I hope I live long enough to witness the Brotherhood's next triumph. <clears throat> You've done a heck of a job, Paladin. At Victoria. Sir. Paladin. I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escape the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Of course, Captain. Very good, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions. Both past... and future. 
It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve, but we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Would I be the only Sentinel in the Brotherhood? In our division? Yes. There hasn't been a Sentinel serving under me for many years now. It's a position that commands a great deal of honor and respect, so I do not award it lightly. Thank you, both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. Superstructure integrity green. Pump plating stable. Kells, carry on, brother. Ad Victorium. You needed to ask me something, Sentinel? How can I continue helping the Brotherhood of Steel? Speak to the crew. I'm certain that they have plenty of missions available, if you're willing to pick up the assignments. Is there anything else? What are my responsibilities as a Sentinel? I need you to set an example for the troops. Collect technology, exterminate abominations of nature, and bring a message of stability to the people of the Commonwealth. Our ideals are what define us, Sentinel. If we can hold on to that, then we will always be victorious. Was there anything else you need to ask? Are synths still a threat? Though the Institute has been destroyed, there are numerous synth units that are still roaming the Commonwealth. Even with their command structure destroyed, they present a significant threat and should be eliminated on sight. Did you have any other questions? Not right now, Elder. Very well. Then I suggest you return to your duties. Brothers and sisters, I will make this brief. I wish only to say thank you for all your hard work and dedication in the defeat of the Institute. Our sacrifices have been great, but thanks to all of you, we stand today in a commonwealth free from the grip of madmen. Tomorrow always brings another battle, but thanks to all of you, we have won today. Ad Victorium, brothers and sisters. Excuse me. Scribe Naraya. Do you realize that by destroying the Institute, you provided me with a host of new opportunities? I can't wait to get to work. What do you mean? Well, it's quite simple, really. The detonation of the Institute's reactor undoubtedly had a significant impact on the Commonwealth's ecosystem. There hasn't been an atomic explosion of this magnitude in quite a long time. Certainly none that I've been close enough to study. The prospect of watching what this immense concentration of radiation does to the local flora and fauna is nothing short of exciting. You've done a great service in the name of science. In any event, I'm certain you need to get back to your duties, and I need to get back to my data. Thanks again for providing me with such a wonderful opportunity. Be careful out there, sir. That's quite the crater you've manifested in the center of Boston. Marvelous work. Simply marvelous. I was simply doing my duty, Crocker. Nonsense. There's no need to be modest. You deserve all the accolades you've been receiving, and more. Your actions have proven to the people of the Commonwealth that the Brotherhood of Steel has their best interests in mind. That's quite an accomplishment for someone who was merely a new recruit only a short time ago. Well, I've already taken up more than enough of your valuable time. If you still wish to procure technical documents, or escort one of my scribes, please let me know. Pam. Scanning memory. Error detected in block 178, sector 45. This unit is now in self-correction and maintenance mode. Kate? Feeling any after-effects from the Institute explosion? What sort of after-effects? That explosion pushed a ton of radioactive particles into the air. Well, more than usual, anyway. 
I'm looking for symptoms like blurred vision, memory loss, shortness of breath, anything you'd consider serious. No, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, Doug. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. You did a hell of a job out there, you know? Everyone aboard is talking about it. Getting Prime built and then leading him right up to the Institute's front door like you did? It was damn heroic, if you ask me. Anyway, as long as you're feeling fine, you're cleared for active duty. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. I saw the Institute explode from up here. Great work, sir. May the Institute's fall be a lesson to anyone who'd risk tampering with our humanity. Well, it appears you got what you wanted. The Institute's destroyed, and everyone up here thinks you're a hero. I never asked to be called a hero. I was just doing what I thought was right. Well, maybe you should take a step back for a moment and analyze what you just did. The fact of the matter is that innocent people died because Elder Maxon had delusions of grandeur. He kept preaching that the Institute was playing God for creating the synths. Well, you know what? Maybe he should take a look in the mirror, because he's the only one that I saw that's been playing God. I suppose a few sacrifices had to be made in order to preserve the greater good. Just keep telling yourself that. I'll bet it helps you sleep at night. You know, I actually convinced myself that you were using Liberty Prime as leverage. That you were hoping for the Institute to surrender. This is the second time I've let the Brotherhood betray me, and I don't intend for there to be a third. I've already told Proctor Ingram that I'm through working on Liberty Prime. I'm going to work on my own projects in peace. So from now on, I suggest we stay out of each other's way. Ad victorium, Sentinel. To witness the Proctor Teagan. Next I know I'm not the first to say this, but I appreciate what you did down there. The Institute got exactly what it deserved. I'm guessing that's not all you wanted to say. Is it that obvious? Sorry. I just keep thinking about all the lives that were lost getting to this point. There was this one pilot in particular. Rico was his name. I've been on this ship long enough that I watched him go from a Greenhorn Wastelander to a Lancer. Every day after his duty shift, he'd come back here and we'd talk about, well, everything. Sometimes for hours. I remember the day Kells put him in command of a vertibird. He ran right down here to me and handed me a bottle of whiskey. I told him to keep it, but he insisted. He said I was his friend. Felt he owed it to me for keeping him sane all those years. Did something happen to him? The worst thing you could imagine. Right before you got back to the Predwind, Kells told me he was shot down. Some punk with a rocket launcher got lucky and blew him from the sky. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. It's not really any of your concern. I guess I just wanted to show you that there's two sides to every victory. Those who live to revel in it, and those who died making it happen. Well, I think I've raked you through the mud for long enough. Here, I want to give you this as a token of my gratitude for everything you've done. I hope the gesture means the same to you as it did to me. So, it appears the Commonwealth is about to enter a new era of peace thanks to you. A new era of peace? What do you mean? The constant paranoia of living in the Institute's shadow vanished the moment you pressed the detonation button. The kidnappings, the fear, and the threat of their technology running amok. All gone thanks to you. Joining the Brotherhood of Steel was the right thing to do for the Commonwealth. It doesn't matter. What you've done will be felt for years to come. It's destined to become a part of history. A tale of a lone soldier who made this land a better place. A place where people no longer have to live in fear, but instead live in peace. And whether you did this for your own sake or for the sake of the Brotherhood, the end result is the same. The Commonwealth is safe because you chose to take a leap of faith and make a difference. It would have been impossible without your help. And I wouldn't even be alive without yours. I'd say that makes us even. Anyway, I've said what I needed to say, so I won't keep you any longer. I suppose it's time you ventured out into this new world you've created. And if you'll still have me by your side, I'd be honored to accompany you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. <laughs>